First thing we got to do once we have ice is turn the water off to the house. Sometimes you can do that to, to a valve in the basement or in the crawl space. Um, some of the faucets have valves that you can turn off also, but with a the shower, there's typically not a shut off, so the easiest thing for us is just to turn it off here at the meter. So we're just going to use our wrench here and spin it clockwise until it locks, and then that's it. Uh, a lot of guys don't have these special wrenches. You can buy them at a store, but if you don't, that's all right. We can use a crescent wrench to turn the water meter on and off out here at the valve. All right, after the water's off, come in here, open up the faucet, drain all the water out of there. Now we're going to leave it part way open. I'm going to take the handle off. And there's different styles. This one's got a set screw. Sometimes they screw in through the handle and you take a little cap off. This is a older Delta skull guard. Stop. Okay, so sometimes it helps to take the cover off. What you got in here is you got some smaller copper lines. So if you turn on this too hard, you'll twist those and break them. So sometimes a little WD-40 or tapping on it to break things loose. And then carefully put your pliers on. And spin this loose and watch that you don't twist that too much. You don't always have to take that cover off, but sometimes it helps to do that. Take this cap off, make sure it's cleaned out. And then basically right here is your valve assembly and it just pulls out and you check it for any grooves. This one's pretty good. You can see one of the valve seats bounced out all right. <clears throat> what I do is I take a pencil, point first in, and uh, pull these valves out if they don't pop out. That's the old valves worn rubber gasket with a spring behind it. What we do is take a replacement kit, repair kit for this model. And we're just going to reinsert new pieces. We got the spring and the rubber seat. Goes together just like this. And then I stick it on the tip of my pencil to hold it together. I guide it in here to the slots. And then you just Work it in until it pushes in there nice and smooth. Sometimes it takes a little bit of you can push on it, make sure you got one. And we'll do the other one the same way. I use the pencil because I don't want to cut the rubber. And the pencil is a lot easier on it than a screwdriver. Okay, then once we have both of those in there, we're going to take our O-ring tool here. Take this rubber gasket up or rubber O-ring off. Take the new one out of our kit here put it on we're going to inspect everything here and there's one more o-ring in here we got to change it comes in the kit this one here and to change that one we're going to take this screw off and then we're going to slide everything off and we're going to replace that and then we're going to put it back together Okay, when you take all your old pieces, I like to put them back in the original package, the old pieces. And we're going to go ahead and put this back together. You can see the notch right here. And that's going to line up with the notch right here. Once again, double check your seats are in there. Line the grooves up. Push it all the way in. Nice and snug like that. And we're going to take our 
cap here, slide it back on, nice and gently. And then we're gonna go hand tight to seat that. And we're just gonna tighten it a little bit. Once again, when we're tightening, we're really gonna be watching back here that we don't twist any of these three smaller copper lines. And that's about it. That's all you gotta do. And then what we're gonna do is we'll stick this on here for a second to make sure it's turned off. There we go. Take the handle back off. We'll go out, turn the water on before we put it back together. Make sure we have all the leaks. And then we'll put it back together the rest of the way. Alright, we're gonna turn our water back on. Turn it on nice and slow. You're gonna see the meter spin for a minute as you refill the system, but you don't want to see it keep spinning. That would mean you had a leak or you left the faucet on. So all right, we're on. We're gonna go inside and check everything. All right, so after we've gone ahead and checked back there, make sure there's no leaks, there's no leaks here. Water's off, we don't have anything leaking out of the faucet anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and put the cover back on. And then we'll uh, put the handle back on. Run some water through here. Clean our footprints out of the bed, so clean up our mess and will be done. Uh, pretty easy fix. You can get most of these parts at any box store, Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, any of your hardware stores. These Delta Skull Guard models are pretty common for the early 90s and uh, they have you know, easy to replace parts. Save yourself a Nice 80 or 90 dollar service call. You do it yourself. Just gonna take our long Allen wrench and put our set screw in. Put it all back together. There we go. Tighten the handle up. Test it out, see how we do. Good to go. Nice. Alright, so that's it. Like my channel, subscribe. We'll have some more videos when we have time. Thanks.